Hey everyone. So in this video, we'll be looking at Trickster Challenge from Pico CTF, and it was in the web exploitation category. Now it says that I found a web app that can process images and it says PNG images only. Now here are a few things that I definitely sensed when I was reading the description that it is somehow vulnerable to uh, file upload vulnerability issues. Now the reason they could have given us the instance is because there is a flag there and we could either upload a web shell to get access to it and then download or print the flag. Now it says welcome to my PNG processing apps and the first thing that we need to do is upload a file. I already have a file downloaded. It's called image.png and if I open it and click on upload file, it should hopefully upload the file. It says file uploaded successfully. Now let's go to HTTP history and here is the post request that's getting sent. Now if you see here, there are a few things. It first says image.png, uh, there is a content type and the, re the way it is getting uploaded is through multi-part form data. And what happens in multi-part form data is there is a boundary associated and when this boundary ends, uh, there is again this number there along with two hyphens. So if you see here, there will be two hyphens with the same number. So this tells you that, okay, this file has ended here. So here is the file. We can try to play with it like if we change this to dot php what would happen here it says errors file name should not contain does not contain dot png so here is one hint that you can get is that the file name it is checking for the name of the file one thing to note here is that it says x powered by php 8.0.30 now we know that it is php 8 so we cannot try a null byte injection attack so we, so that means we cannot try percentile zero zero here but nevertheless let's see what happens if i do this now most of the times what it should typically do is it should just see that png is the last extension and not in between but let's try to see what happens if we do this so as you can see again the file got uploaded so what it is trying to do here is is the file name contains dot png and nothing else so this means we could potentially upload a web shell but can we so there is something called a magic byte that is associated with files now here what could be happening is it could first be checking if it's a dot png extension and the second thing is that it could also be checking the content type along with the magic bytes what happens if i remove this as you can see it says not a valid png image so this tells us that we also have to play with the files magic bytes first of all do some enumeration so what, what the first thing that i did was i went to robots.txt and you'll see here an instructions.txt file and a slash uploads file so let's do this in the instructions it says that look for a dot png extension and make sure that the magic bytes match after validation store the uploaded file so that admin can retrieve them later and do the necessary processing so I think what it what it would do after uploading the files is it will save it to this directory as usual it says 403 forbidden because there might be other users as well so let's go to the name of the file that we had recently uploaded and here you might find that we have our file here so what we had initially thought can come true first of all we need to find a way to upload a web shell and we can invoke that web shell from here. So here is what we typically find list of file signatures. The only thing you have to search for is list for list of file signatures, Wikipedia, and you'll come to this page. Now, if you search for PNG, there might, there might be multiple instances. Now this is called PCAP NG. This is used for Wireshark. The next thing that we'll be doing is PNG. So these are the magic bytes that are associated with png files at this point of time what we can do is let's create a shell nano web shell dot png and dot php let's get one liner from here let's paste it here at this point of time what we will be doing is we will be leaving certain spaces like one two three four five six seven eight let's leave eight spaces and i'll tell you why all right but let's first of all save it Let's run file web shell. It says a PHP script. All right. Now let's write nano one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Now, if I do hex edit web shell, you will see that I have left eight spaces. Now I can replace them with 89, 50. The next one is 4E, then 47, then 0D, 0A, 1A, and 0A. Let's save it and let's type file webshell.php dot png dot php we will see that it says file type is data but let's not worry about that let's upload the file so options all files and let's upload it it says file uploaded successfully and is a valid png file we shall process it and get back to you hopefully now let's do uploads what was the name of the file it was webshell.png.php here we go and we get an error but that's expected let's type cmd is equal to ls as you can see we get a command execution on the box now why did i type dot cmd here because we are expecting a cmd parameter in the request now let's type who am i and as you can see we have a remote code execution here